Remember, the fish system is frozen. Yep. Unfreeze it, then worry about sopping up the excess liquidity, one thing at a time. It's like you have cardiac arrest. You first get the heart beating, then you give lectures about lifestyle, don't drink three bottles of scotch a day and things like that. <laughs> first things first. Your clients were focused on creating wealth uh -huh. for a long time when times were good and structured products and the alternative investments. Uh, were the way to go. Now the message is changing and it's more about protecting your wealth right now. So um, we have to adapt and change um, and be cognizant of those messages. Mm -hmm. These prestige brands are now managing much more tightly the amount of inventory they sell to certain retailers because of this discounting strategy. They need to reinstate the premium value of these project products for when recovery does come and better not to, sometimes I think for all of us, the deal we don't make is more important than the deal we make. So our messaging went from one of emotional triggers to one of safety, stability, value, trust. And it's really, it, it tends to, it tends to apply to a broader audience because our product has always gone to both a business and a leisure segment. Um, and it tends to focus individuals on really why they want to be traveling or why they need to be traveling and considering more of their options. And I think what we need to look at is how we use social networking as more of a research platform. Get in on the conversation. Make sure you know what's going on. If you're not in on the conversation, they're still going to be talking about what your brand or uh, whatever they want. But you can use it as research if you're not comfortable yet with using it as a marketing tool as far as advertising goes. Again, look beyond just what's in the press, but look for places where consumers are actually communicating in their daily lives. You know, to your point that um, there is this opportunity now to, to let people harness the power that they have, and social media is an incredible way to do that. Um, and a really exciting way to do that because it gives people the power in their hands. So you have this political push, all countries trying to work within a single system. You have an economic push that produces political and economic stability. And you have this technological push connecting the world together, all happening at the same time. And the result of this, of course, is that countries are faced with this these uncharted waters and are trying to figure out, can they swim in them? Can they figure out a way to kind of make all this work? Advertise on three levels. We have global publications that go everywhere that has one message. We have pan-regional publications or uh, channels. Um, that's, for instance, the Latin America ad appears on uh, CNN International. And then we have in-country programs. So we've got this kind of three-layer approach. The, for us, advertising is one, is a door opener. It is, uh, it helps us pave the way for, uh, for engagement. So mm -hmm. we, ha we use the global media uh, to, to, to bring the, uh, the global stru uh, structure of our, of our messages. And then uh, locally, uh, this is used, adapt, and uh, adapt. Now it's actually cool and important to have your picture taken with President Obama or to be seen to you know, be doing a deal with Obama or whatever it is. So that's good for America. And hopefully it'll be good for American business, for American tourism, for uh, all the things that uh, America needs to export and import, and obviously for policy and, and the prospect for peace around the world.